Today on Be Something Wonderful, this is Next Level Reality Creation. My God is exactly right. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Powerful video this morning. This comes with a client that actually is um, a Law of Assumption coach as well, has a YouTube channel. She says that that's pretty, um, that's growing. And, and it was interesting. She goes, you know, Tom, I had to reach out. I had to talk to you because I'm incorporating uh, a lot of what you're saying. And she goes, I knew, I know all of this stuff. And it's just said sometimes that I like to see it from a different perspective. And, and I get that. And she said, but really, she, there is an area that she says that, that she um, feels that she creates it for everybody else, but not for herself. And this is in love, and this is with a specific person. But we didn't really talk about the specific person specifically. We talked about the story, right? Because, because she goes, you know, as I watched your videos, like your other client, I had that sort of my God moment, right? This is what she said. Tom, this is truly next level. Like your other client, I said my God out loud and then burst out laughing as she was watching one of the videos, right? And she goes, I can't explain it. It's like the weight of all these 3D conditions dropped away. In other words, the weight of the non-story, the story of the non-reality. That's what we unpacked in this session today. That's what she was feeling. The story of I am not fell away, right? And, you know, telling her, telling the story of her SP, of what she's not, who he's not. He doesn't prioritize me. He doesn't have enough time. He's too busy. But as she was telling that story, she was telling the story of how busy she is with her, with her coaching and her channel and her other activities. Do you see it? So my God, yes, the only God in reality there is. My story, my reality. Oh my God is the only thing that is, re that is real. I love it. This is what she said in our, in our session. She really got it. Right? It was the story. She was telling the story of her being too busy. And then also the story of her of not even prioritizing her own self, her own love of herself, what she wants, right? And, and then she said she, said, and she was projecting that story as she was telling that story about her SP that he doesn't prioritize her. He doesn't, he, he doesn't make her uh, a priority. A priority. Do you see this? This is big. That's the story. And she really got it. She goes, my God, yes, the only God in reality there is. That's my story, my reality. My God is the only thing that is real. So we really, I, I really want to hit this today because this is, this, this is what we talked about. And, and I talked about this idea. We hit this idea of the vertical, um, the vertical being that you are the vertical reality. The only reality is the vertical reality, right? Remember that quote that I've often used in other videos. Before Abraham, it says in scripture, before Abraham was, and there's a comma either before or after, depending on how you look at it, I am. But I always say it doesn't matter where the comma is. What's the real interpretation here? Before Abraham, I am. In other words, before, look at the horizontal realities, all these experiences. Before those infinite experiences of ultimate reality, your experiences in 3D reality, your experiences as an infinite being of whatever reality you're experiencing, before all that is I am. Meaning I am was always there, is there, and will always be there. That's your true story. That's your real story. Do you see? The vertical nature, right? The cross being represented here. The vertical nature of who you really are. These are just stories, ideas that you tell in linear time about your life, about others, about the world. Why not tell it from the place of truth? Of, of the, the way, tell it the story of the way you would like things to be. And that's imagining your wish fulfilled. That's imagining your ideal. Or it, and also tell the story of how you would have liked things to be. That's revision. That's revising your past. That's imagining things differently that, that you believe happened in the past. You change everything. You change all time when you do that. Because you move to the horizontal reality or the timeline or the film role or the parallel alternative reality that's your choice. 
as you go vertical, as you tell that I am story. Do you see this? So let's hit this a little bit more. Do nothing. And, and I got an email this morning of someone that's also working on a SP, who's Tom, unbelievable movement, right? Months of nothing. He, she was blocked, I guess. <laughs> this happens, right? We get blocked. We get, the block represented her being blocked, right? Believing she's blocked, believing she's metaphysically blocked, believing that she has blocked assumptions or, or limiting beliefs. So her SP didn't block her, she blocked herself. And that was represented by those assumptions were represented in the 3D world. Everything is you pushed out. So her SP blocked her, of course, because she felt blocked. She felt limited. Do you see it? But as soon as she moved into that space of doing nothing other than telling the story that she is that person that she wants to be, he unblocked her <laughs> after months and even liked a few of her things on her, her recent postings on Instagram. I think it was Instagram. It was one of those social media sites. Pretty powerful. But remember, do nothing other than tell the story of I am that. That identity or version of yourself who already has what they want and already is who they desire to be. Tell that story from the vertical. I am is the only reality. It is the absolute conviction and awareness of being. That God, that God or the Lord of Scripture, there is no other, there is no God besides me. I am is the only reality, and you are that. It's the absolute conviction and awareness of being. Remember the I being awareness of being, the am being the isness of God, the absolute God, the absolute law. Those together is the only reality. It's the absolute conviction, awareness of being that God or the Lord of Scripture is the only reality. There is no other. There is no God besides me. Another one of you, of our subscribers, commented, God, Tom, this is, also commented, Tom, this is next level, right? And, and you know, someone who's really um, quite ad advanced in their studies, in their ideas, in their knowledge of metaphysical teachings and reality creation teachings. So, so they're getting it now. So in other words, there's only one story of reality, I am. It's the only true story. Before Abraham, I am. Before the drama and trauma and everything we talk about in 3D, before all these experiences we believe happened in the past are happening now or will happen in the future, what we call the future, there's I am, there's your true nature. Right before the stories of limiting beliefs, before the stories of negative assumptions, before the stories of I am not who I desire to be, the world is not as I desire to be it. They, my friends or the SPs or the people in my life are not what I desire them to be. My work environment's not what I really desire it to be. The money I'm making is not the money I desire to make. All of that, the, the health or the physical appearance is not what I desire it to be. All of those stories are I am not those, but before those stories, before those stories of past hurts and past drama and trauma or, or things that you dislike or, or reject or resist in 3D, of that 3D linear horizontal experience is the only true story I am. Before all of that, before Abraham, I am. So the story of I am the Lord and I am the law I am God, there's no other. There's no God besides me. That's the story. That's the only God. I am the Lord. I am the law. I am God. There's no other. A lot of you are now using that as your go-to affirmations. They're just becoming natural and you're feeling it, right? I am not is the unreality. It does not exist. Not isness doesn't exist. Non-existence doesn't exist. There's just the absolute isness of God. That's all there is. This is why Neville got it said, as we control our inner talking, our inner story, the story we're telling ourselves, right from that place of truth, what you're saying within that inner talking, that inner speech, as we control our inner talking, matching it to our fulfilled desires, we can lay aside all other processes. I've hit this before. All other processes. That's the process, telling your I am story. Before Abraham, I am. That's why Neville got it said that. That's why that's so powerful, right? Start carrying on conversations within yourself from the premises of fulfilled ideals. Neville got it. Fulfilled ideals from, from what, how would you like things to be? Tell that story. It doesn't matter what the conditions are showing you. You're looking out at the conditions and then telling a story. 
tell the story and then those conditions will yield to that story. They'll rearrange themselves to that story. They'll coalesce around the story you're telling. Remember, you're, you're, it, I think I got into a discussion with someone who said, well, it feels like I'm pretending or faking it. Remember, your reality, your God, God doesn't fake anything. God announces reality. So that story is reality in the telling of it no matter what those conditions are. Then you always go, well, how do I handle 3D conditions when, when I've got to do something? I say, it doesn't matter. You're just following the script. Follow the script. Do what you have to do. Say what you have to say. But with that inner knowing that you're just following the script, you're just acting out that, that role as you light up that new reality, as you tell that new story. Do you see it? So who do men say then that I, who do men say that I, the son of man am. Remember, I've, I've, I've covered this in several videos now. That I, awareness of being, that awareness of being, that consciousness, you being aware of that awareness, the son of man, remember, that's, that's God's idea of man. Idea of man, that ideal. God's idea of, of man uh, expressing, expressing itself. Man, you're, it, the son of God, man, or the son of man, is God or the ideal of view and expression. That's what the Son of Man is. It's the ideal of God, the, God, the ideal that God has of you in expression. That's the Son of Man. That's the Jesus of Scripture. And Christ being the Son of the living God, being the Son of God. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? The isness of reality. Jesus to his disciples, your I am, your awareness of being to you, the 3D personality. In other words, what was Jesus saying? What's your story? Right? What's your story? Because that determines your whole life experience. What's the story of the Son of Man? The Son of Man, God's ideal of you in expression, expressing yourself in 3D reality. Having it, that knowing that you are I am, expressing it or experiencing it in that 3D horizontal experience. Who you really are, right? What's your story? That's the inner speech, that's the inner talking. The Son of God is that idea or ideal in the absolute sense, in the perfect divine sense, in the oneness of God, right? The Son of Man is that experience as the Son of God in the 3D horizontal experience, right? It's remembering who you are. Do you hear this? We covered that in yesterday's video. Stop looking out at conditions, both outer conditions of people, events, and circumstances, and inner conditions of changing thoughts and feelings about all that, telling the story of I am not. Do you see it? You're looking out at these conditions or looking out within at these conditions, right? Those thoughts and feelings. Instead, tell the one and only true story of I am, who and what I desire to be before Abraham, right? Remember, your story, inner speech, inner talking is your entire life experience of reality right now. Let it go, guys, go, well, how do I tell my story? Remember, you're telling it every day. You're always imagining something. You're always thinking something into reality. So tell it the way you want to see it. See it the way you want to see it, right? Stop taking your cue from the conditions, both inner and outer. Stop giving your power away to the conditions. Stop giving your power away to Pontius Pilate, like Jesus in front of Pontius Pilate, right? When Pontius Pilate says, I have, don't you know I have the power to crucify you or set you free? Those conditions feel like they have the power to crucify you or free you, but they have no power. The, 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 the temporary thoughts and feelings or the temporary outer conditions, unless you imbue them with that power, unless you give them that power from above, from that I am, from your I am story. So that's powerful. Remember, your story, your assumptions are your only reality. God announces reality. I am that I am. And when you tell your story, your I am, as you would like things to be, that imaginal scene, a simple scene, a simple frame, it could be a conversation, it could be someone congratulating you, it could be your wedding day, it could be you feeling your wedding ring as Neville Goddard talks about. It could be anything like that. It's not the, remember, none of the power is there. The power are not in the processes. The power are not in the imaginal scenes. The power and the potency is within you within your I am conviction, right? And so imagine them as you would like them to be. That's your imaginal scene or assumption or how you would like to have them 
and or how you would have liked to have them to be. That's revision. As you look at the past, as you remember things, right? And remember, memories are just imaginal scenes that we believe happened in the past or didn't happen. <laughs> Whatever that is, those are imaginal scenes. Remember it, before Abraham, I am. Before any 3D condition, before any experience of, of ultimate reality, this just I am. This really is next level reality creation. My God is exactly right. <laughs> my God, my story. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for just being with us. Thank you for um, joining our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. Thank you for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Thank you for joining our membership channel. There's, there's a loads of content on there. We just released one on Sunday a few days ago. That, that's a big video. There's more coming and there's also a live stream on Sunday, August 6, 2023 that will be broadcast exclusively on the membership channel at nine in the morning. I'm coming to you live right here from the studios at Be Something Wonderful. I'm gonna answer your questions that you've been sending me at info at besomethingwonderful.com. Creators, we're in the, the midst of, of updating our playlists. Also, several thumbnails on the videos where we're refreshing them. And, and even taking a look at some of those videos, the idea, big ideas there and some of the older videos as well. And so look out for those. Until next time, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful in the studios in Las Vegas. We'll talk to you soon.